I have a problem with you three being in the store right is now. Is this your store? That's what I'm asking you. Uh, this town is my duty to protect. This is, I live here. Do not tell okay. me about whatever. That's fine. Okay. Where do you live? I do not, I, I'm not going to answer your question. When your supervisor is here, you tell him to come talk to me. Okay, he's already on his way. Can okay. I tell him who so, you are? So I do not have to talk to you. You do have to talk no, to me. No, I do not have to yes, talk to you. Yes, you do. Because it's 1 o'clock in the About morning what? and you're inside of a store and you can't tell me why. It does not matter. My problem is there's three people in a store at 1 o'clock in the morning because, and you can't tell me why. Because there's two, three people in the store. What's the problem with two, two, three people being in a store? It's 1 o'clock in the morning, sir. Oh, and what's the problem with that? People aren't usually in stores at 1 in the morning. And what's the problem with that? My business, sir, is to look at the property down here and if there's something that stands out to me... So what to... stands out to you? That there's three black people in a store? There's three people. So you're going to... No. Sir, you could be black. White, Hispanic. No. Absolutely, sir. There's going to be three black people in the store. You're going to come around and try to, like, you know. I don't want to argue. I just want you to tell me why you're here. Huh? I just want you to tell me why you're here. I'm not going to tell I'm, I, I'm not answerable to you. Do you guys I have don't keys have to, to the you. building? I don't have to tell you. You do. I do not. That's body cam evidence that has not been released. That's from an August 2020 uh, interaction with uh, Tiburon police officer Michael Madfees. That's uh, Tiburon's up in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, and he was relentlessly questioning that store owner, Yima Khalif. Uh, and he owns this retail store with his wife. Uh, and that nearly 10 minute long interaction with him and eventually that supervisor that Yima asked for or said, bring your supervisor if you have an issue, the supervisor showed up. And the supervisor uh, kind of escalated things. Watch more. Supervisor, how are you doing? That's right, how are you? You sir? came, three of you guys. What's, go, what's going on? What's the problem? There's three black people in the store. What's the problem? It's, with that? So it's one o'clock in the morning. There's three people in the store. There's three black people in the store. Three o'clock in the morning. No, what's the problem? There's three people. There's three the black store. people in the store. It's three o'clock in the morning. What's the problem? It's one o'clock in the morning, and yes. you never have any activity at the store at that time. You see that? Three black people in the store. What's the problem with that? I see three people in the I store at one o'clock in the morning. I see one o'clock in the morning. This okay. street's closed up at nine o'clock at night. There's okay. nobody here. Okay. So what's the problem? That's the problem. I want to know what you're doing in the store at one o'clock in the morning. Okay. If I tell you it's my store, then what? Then show me that it's your store. I do not have to show you nothing. If I tell you it's my store, then what? Aren't you glad we're looking out for your store? I am glad you're looking out for my store, but okay. if I tell you it's my store, then what? Then you should be grateful that we're being as, as diligent as we are to look out for the street. That's all we do. Okay, it's my store. Okay. Okay. Can you prove that it's your I store? I do not have to prove anything to Actually, yourself. you do. Yes, no, I don't. Because yes, you do. No, I don't. To who and to why? So if you haven't followed this yet, it's gone from this, what are you doing here, you three? Just people in the store at 1 a.m. because you have no business being here. To then, supervisor shows up and aren't you grateful that we're looking out for your store? Well, I tell you, it's my store. How about you prove it to me that it's your store? So, if you haven't figured this out yet, everything that is said continues to have the next layer of proof and reason that this person should be where he is. At this point, it's just we don't believe anything you have to say. So every time you tell us something else that we have to thou accept, we're gonna move on to the next. Now, by the way, this last part, they are finally convinced. And I want you guys to understand who it is that convinces them that Yima belongs in his store with his damn name on it. Watch. Let me ask you a question. Yes, I This is your store. Yes. So the next time yes. I come here and there's yes. three totally different people here. Yes. I don't care what color they are. Okay. Three people in your store at two o'clock in the morning. Do you want us to walk by and not do anything? Uh, yeah, I want to wrap up this conversation. We're wasting time. So what's going on? What, what's up? What's the next step? Prove Can to us just, that you have keys. How is my store? Okay, okay, wait, See, wait, wait. You know, that's a perfect okay. thing. I just asked I for that. Okay, okay. You look, know what? Look, Put wait. the key in the door and we're out of here. Put the key in the door? Put the key in the door. If, I asked you, if, if this keys. is your store, you have the key. I'm telling you. There you go. Stand back, please. There you Do go. not raise your voice at me. Okay? Put the key in the door. Don't raise your voice at me. Just chill. That's I'm going to put my key in the door. That's his store. What's that? That's his store. Thank, well, thank you, sir. That's all I need to know. That dude knows thank me. you. See ya. Thank you for your time. Oh Can you put the key in the door, key in the door yeah. first? Huh? Can you put the key in the door, please? I'm not going to put the key in the door. It never stops. So a white neighbor across the street finally screams, that's his store, that's his store. And suddenly the police officers are placated and they'll take off. Except for the one that started the whole thing, still wants the key to go in the door. Because we just can't fully trust those black folks. It's not black folks, it's just folks in a store. That's why we're harassing you, Yima. And that's why we don't believe that you own this store, which by the way, is in a very nice neighborhood and is a very nice looking store. So this this can't possibly be 
their store, Francesca. No, yeah, I mean, Tiburon is a predominantly white neighborhood. It is a tourist town. And I think that it is very infrequent that you have black ownership of, of stores there. And so already, um, that's a problem. Already, we understand how systemic racism plays into this. You know, when you see a black, an immigrant, you know, a Muslim, any anyone who's running a store in a neighborhood that you go to every single damn day, i.e., the police, and you still don't believe it. It's just like it's like, of course, people can't win even when they're business owners. You know, even when they do all the so-called right things and try to be good immigrants or you know, good Black Americans, it's just it's disgusting. And then. And the best part is the guy across the street. No, it, oh, it's his store, and they just they melt. It's like oh, the white voice has descended, <laughs> and they are plaking. They're on their backs like little puppy dogs. Rub my tummy. So honestly, I think it's messed up that the other cop is still asking for him to put the key in. But at least he's being consistent with the a hole he was uh, 30 seconds ago. It's uh, it, it's it's uh, it's part of as you mentioned when it comes to systemic racism and how people talk about how our systems are put in place to make sure black folks feel a certain way. How comfortable do you think he and his wife are every time they work late now? Will they be looking out in front of their store thinking the cops might show up again, maybe a different set of cops wondering why they're there. They might start feeling uncomfortable about where they own a store in the community that they're in and people get shoved out from things like this. That yes. is the system. It shoves people out and they have fewer opportunities in affluent neighborhoods like this. That's mm -hmm. the plan, that's the idea. And even if you don't know if you're part of it, these officers, the point is, is you're in the system and you have these biases and they know it and you just lay them upon folks. And then yes. somehow you think you can get away with these types of things because they don't think society will push back. Society's beginning to push back and now they're getting more and more upset about it. Uh, there was a lot of fallout from this. They didn't press any charges or they didn't try and get several millions of dollars. I think there was a six figure settlement with that particular police department. But uh, other business owners in the area said they've worked late at night before and they haven't got this kind of treatment. Police didn't show up and ask them why they're there at 1 a.m. They just don't get it. Let's keep it real. There's two different uh, Americas here and we know what type of folks are in one versus people like Yima are in the other. Now. Um, Honestly, they're better people than I am because again, like they said, they actually implemented some police reforms, worked with the police department in that city and, and the mayor who said he's very grateful that they didn't press any charges or have any lawsuits put forward. So black folks after being harassed in their own store, then have to put in more work and time and energy to help you retrain your officers and your department and your city to, to encounter people, citizens yeah. that are paying into the system better. I just want to say these are also communities that like fancy themselves liberal, and these are also communities that fancy um, the the phrase defund the police as incredibly extreme and radical and insane. And yet you don't see what's happening under your very own nose. You don't see the ways that systemic racism among own business owners. We're not talking about you know renters, people like us, millennials, Gen right. Z. You know, we're talking <laughs> about business owners, and you see the way that racism and and how they're being treated in your own community. You want your Black Lives Matter sign out on your front lawn, but this is what the police are doing. So what can you do to actually rein them in? Shouldn't there be money for more business owners of color? to actually feel comfortable in your town than there is for police to harass some four of them at one in the morning. So yeah, back the blue and don't teach CRT, which <laughs> isn't being taught. Maybe they'd learn something.